Uh, good afternoon, Ben. How are you today? Yeah, good afternoon, Peter. Very well. How are you? I am fantastic. Thanks very much. Uh, oh, ben, thanks for uh, sharing your time uh, with the Business Spotlight. Could you tell me a little about yourself uh, and your business, please? Yep, no problem at all. So good afternoon. Um, my name is Ben Carter. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and chief commercial officer of a company called Be Secure. Uh, Be Secure is a next generation biometric uh, software company out of Belfast, Northern Ireland. Um, we're on a mission to improve and save lives by actually taking medical grade software and embedding it into devices that can connect either via cloud or an embedded library to actually get real time information about your ECG and your heart health. And but how how long has uh, Be Secure been in business for, Ben? So we were we were founded in our latest commercial iteration back in two thousand and fifteen in January two thousand fifteen. Um, we're an investor backed business, um, so we've been running now for about eight years. Um, the first few years of our of our trading was very much a, a deep R and D um, phase as we looked into the technology and looked into the applications of that technology and where we could scale and make the biggest. Uh, impression. I would say the last year or so we've moved out of an R&D phase and more into a commercialization phase as we've worked very hard with our customers over in the US uh, and India, our two primary markets, uh, both across consumer technology and wearables <coughs> and medical technology <coughs> Excuse me, and, and wearables. And uh, what's exciting about that is we're seeing a bit of a convergence between um, consumer and medical businesses. Um, companies like Apple, Amazon and Google are investing billions of dollars in healthcare. And at the same time, companies like Medtronic and Philips are looking at how they can ensure they keep their patients happy and not lose them to potentially those big consumer healthcare plays. Our technology has been designed to sit in the middle of that, enabling it um, either via, via our um, edge library or our cloud capability to drive the most accurate technology. So Ben, you mentioned uh, the US and India, and I'm going to take a wild stab that your accent is English. Uh, so tell me, what, what's the Northern Ireland connection? Why, why, why Belfast? Why Northern Ireland? Yep, that's true. Um, the three co-founders, uh, uh, one of them is uh, an Irish national uh, but who's been living in Belfast for the uh, majority of his life. That's our chief technology officer. Um, our chief executive officer is actually a Belfast national uh, but lives in the northwest of England. Um, myself, I was living in, uh, in London at the time um, when we raised our first major monies. Uh, we had the opportunity to consolidate into one of those key areas to build the business out. Uh, we looked at all the different uh, the, the pros and cons of all those three areas. Uh, and I've got to say that Belfast was, a, was an absolute no brainer, uh, not just in terms of how we could get cost efficiencies um, from the, the region, but also with, uh, with universities like um, Queen's University and Ulster. You know, pumping out the type kind of talent they do and around things like um, data science and, uh, and algorithm engineering. Uh, that was a very easy decision for us to make in terms of how we could build the foundation and build the, the future of the company out of Belfast and Northern Ireland. And ben, what, uh, that's fantastic to hear, by the way, and uh, great PR for Northern Ireland. Uh, what, what would you say, what have, what have been your biggest learnings in, in your career and uh, in Be Secure? Biggest learnings, wow. Um, I think when you work in corporate companies, corporate roles, um, there's a very uh, sort of specific brief that you have. I think when you start to build your own company and as that company starts to grow, um, you've got to find a balance between ensuring you're covering all the angles you need to to grow a company, but at the same time remaining laser focused and prioritized on key deliverables. And I know that can sound like a, um, a bit of a contradiction. Um, but I think many companies just get so distracted with so much that's going on and with, with obviously economic, economic challenges that come along or customer challenges, many things can come along, which can be, um, can create a bit of a road hump, a uh, speed hump in terms of what you can do and which way you can go. Um, so I think the, the biggest change in my career has been um, finding a way to, to ensure the company has its priorities, has its deliverables, and then stay, stays hell bent and holding each other to account to make sure we deliver against those. Um, that would be probably the main thing uh, I've, I've learned over the last sort of, uh, eight years of the, building the company. And in, in, in your career throughout, has there been anyone in particular, a mentor or anyone that has really influenced you along the way? Yeah, I've, I've been really fortunate to work with some, uh, some really good people, some very smart people, experienced folk. Um, I think uh, some of the learnings I took from my, my, my corporate days at companies like Microsoft and, uh, and Nokia and Sony were great. And you know, I was lucky enough to have um, a couple of bosses, certainly at uh, Nokia and, um, and Sony, that uh, really did understand what they were doing, where they were trying to go. And I think everyone needs that opportunity to have a bit of, bit of a bunk up. And I think if someone believes in you and creates that sort of mentorship relationship, 
you can learn a lot more a lot more quickly um i'd like to think that in my time at be secure i've tried to to offer the same to other 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 folk as well and who's the first person that, that comes to mind when you think of the word success blimey um well we're we're we're, we're trying to do a deal with a company from uh, from Seattle right now without mentioning too many names and so when I think of that I think of these big uh, tech uh, entrepreneurs who've helped shape the digital landscape the fact that the very worlds we operate in today and companies like uh, Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook the, the, whether you like them or not um, they have shaped our world um, and when I start to see them uh, what they're trying to do now with data and I know data is a bit of a moot point in terms of how they manage data but what appears to be happening now is that all the big uh, companies are running for healthcare data that's the sort of the last <clears throat> the, the final piece of the jigsaw um we we have this uh this phrase internally at be secure that there's no difference now between um a consumer and a patient we call them the medical consumer uh, and i think that's where this is going and so when i look at the way that companies like those big tech giants can change invest and find a way to build momentum in new areas for themselves um that's a very impressive thing so i've, I've got to say those 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 tech vendors are very impressive and in, in, in where, how they're shaping this new world we're living in. And what, what have you learned about yourself uh, along the journey with, with, with Be Secure and, and indeed throughout your career? So we've got a few, we've got a few sayings, uh, Be Secure. The first one is uh, relentlessly constructive. Uh, I think that's a, it's, it's, a, it's a frame of mind, uh, a positive frame of mind. It's managing a, a small company, growing a company. It, it, there, there's a million problems every day. Uh, it's a very difficult thing to do, but it's also the most um, pleasing thing when you get it right and uh, I, I think most of it is up up here right remaining positive remaining constructive as I've mentioned um, and being very resilient finding ways to not be offended, you know, offended by people and and getting on with it but I, it, it's it's those classic sort of um, you know uh, words of, of resilient and determined and never give up and that they're, they're, they, they ring so true for this type of uh, undertaking. Uh, what, what would you say to anyone that was thinking of going into business today? Um, I think it's very important to try and have uh, a passion if you can. Uh, I, I appreciate that's quite a luxury. Uh, and if not a passion, then something that suddenly interests you. Um, I think, you know, often work is called work for a reason. Um, but if we can find um, some sort of philosophical interest within that work that, that that gets you going, then that gives you more reasons to jump out of bed and you know, put your your energies into it. But at the end of the day, you know, um, it, the harder you work, the more luck you have. You know, that that's what we've heard in terms of you know it's important to have some luck in your career. Um, but there's a great saying that one of my previous mentors said to me, which uh, has stuck with me for my entire career, which is that you know great people find a way. Um, there's always going to be a problem. There's always going to be challenges, um, but every problem can be resolved through, you know, working it out, working collaboratively with, with teams and finding a solution. But um, I think that's a big part of what I would, would um, recommend to people moving into business. And if you could start your business again, is there anything that you would do differently? Um, because our technology was so early um, in, in the R&D phase, we had to pivot a few times. And those pivots, obviously, they, they, they add time into what you're doing and, and they can be responsible for burning a bit of you know, runway that you're trying to preserve and so forth. So, um, but that, you know, everyone, everyone's an expert in, the, <coughs> in hindsight and after, after the event. So I think that's pretty not a, a fair one. I think um, get your people right. You, you know, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but, um, you know, an organization such as ours is, is very much predicated on the, the quality of its people and having a culture that people buy into. And um, I'd like to think that the three um, co-founders of Be Secure, you know, we work really hard. Um, we like to have a laugh as well uh, and not take things too seriously. Um, and I think that 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 hopefully that culture we've built uh, is one of the reasons why we are, we're able to attract uh, some of the top talents in Northern Ireland, despite there being a huge amount of uh, competition um, and we always seem to get the, the best people out there uh, even though there's companies like companies like Microsoft and Peloton and uh, you know Citibank who are, who are building and moving into the into Northern Ireland as a an area of, of doing business so um, yeah I, I think like to think that culture has been a reason why we've managed to be so successful. And what what are the what are the goals what are the goals for Be Secure in at 2023 and beyond? It's to get our technology into uh, into the market and start doing what our mission statement is, which is to save and improve lives. Um, I think uh, I've, I've mentioned before, but uh, you know, cardiovascular disease kills 18 million people a year. 
according to the American Heart Foundation, um, 80%, 80, so around 14 million are preventable through pre proactive and preventable healthcare models such as um, our technology. So the more our technology scales, the quicker we get it out to market, the more lives we save. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that most people who listen to this will know someone who's had some form of heart condition, uh, whether it's a friend or a family member, and we, I don't need to tell anyone else how, how galling and how painful that can be. So, you know, we're here to save those lives and improve those lives. Fantastic. And uh, Ben, if, if someone is interested, uh, they feel like they might have a skill set that might lend itself to joining Be Secure or, or just even to find out more, what would be the best way to reach out? Yeah, no, absolutely. We're always looking for uh, for talent and, and, and fresh ideas and thinking. Um, on our website, www.besecure.com, we have a, uh, a jobs vacancy page. We also have a way to contact us and, uh, you know, we, we have all our social channels and we're off, we're, we're quite active socially. Uh, we do a lot of work with the universities in Northern Ireland. Uh, so there's always opportunities to get in contact with Be Secure if, uh, if someone has a, a desire to talk further. Brilliant. Well, Ben Carter from Be Secure, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. It's been really cool uh, hearing about the journey, about your journey and about Be Secure, a real local success story. And I wish you every success for 2023 and beyond. Thank you very much indeed. Peter, thank you very much. Always a pleasure.